do I know? That's a great question. Alrighty, guys. Well, thank you for joining me. We have another new package here. This is not a game for a change. This is actually going to help me with something else. And let's see what it is. Okay, let's see what it is. Bum, bum, bum. Anybody know what it is? Never think. Dun, dun! Yes! It's my acrylic paint wet palette. Oh, yeah. Keep your hobby paint wet and usable for days. For days. So, wet the hydro foam. Then put the hydro foam in the bottom of the tray then put hydro sheet on top of it wipe out the air bubbles and start painting what that must be the hydro foam that must be a spare hydro foam and these are the little sheets you put on top All right, so let's let's do it. Let's go. Let me go get some water. Let me get some water. We got some water. Let's try this. Let's try this. Maybe if I can get it out of the package. Good lord. Uh, all right. Ooh. I know you can make this at home with your own, like, little plastic. Tupperware bowl and some paper towels and stuff, but I'm like, you know what? For like 15 bucks, I can get one that's got some decent stuff in it. So let's just try it out. All right, so what do we do here? I'll get my, put my glasses back on. So we wet the hydrofoam. Okay, that seems like a, like a good option. Probably need a little bit more. I think over there maybe a little bit more over there probably don't need the extra water All right, so uh, that's pretty self. So this uh, little pad thing stays wet. Keeps, it's supposed to keep your paints nice and wet. Because let me tell you, the thing I was using the other night to paint was a joke. <laughs> My paint was like, as soon as I put it on the thing, it like, oh no, don't tell me I caught this on the stupid... Are you kidding me? I can't. 
Are you kidding me? There. Pull that off of there, please. Thank you. All right. So let me just lay that on top. Now, when you put paint, on here, it should keep the paint nice and wet. And if you go watch any videos from any of the painters online, like miniature painter, you know, online, they all talk about the wet palette and oh, how much better their painting got after they started using a wet palette. And um, putting this down so that all the air bubbles are out of it would be cool. There, like that. <clears throat> right, so now when I get your, let's pull out a, oh. Because uh. I don't want to get my, my new thing all dirty and dusty and painty and everything like that, right? Voila! Right, so now, like, when I get my little purple out here, and besides that, you'll save a lot of you'll save a lot of uh, paint because <laughs> when the paint dries up like instantaneously, you gotta keep getting it out of the tube, which slows you down and everything else. And now you can have a nice bit of paint, just like that. And it'll stay nice and wet. Hopefully for a nice long time. Cool. Plus, uh, you know, I've been learning a lot because I've been watching people online and tutorials and everything. And the first thing that they always, uh, not all of them, but some of them say is to make sure that you get, you got to water the paint down. Ah! Water, water the paint down because it comes out of the tube too globby. You can see it's like a big glob. Spend some time watering it down. And now the problem was I was doing that, but then it would like instantaneously vanish off of my, um, it would just dry up into like a big cake. Now, uh, with the wet palette, is to keep it nice and wet once I get it all mixed up and ready to go. That's the game plan anyways, right? Oh, hell no, I forgot to get out the, forgot to get out the miniature. Let's see, where are all our miniatures? 
Oh, I need the I need the light colored, not the dark color. Damn it. Well, I do need the dark color for something else, but uh, let's bring these down a little bit so I can actually see something. There we go. What do I know about miniature painting? Not a lot, but we can touch up a few of our spots now, I think. So that's cool. Right along this edge. <sighs> cool. Yeah. All right. Cool. I guess I didn't do the inside of this one. Hmm. Bummeruskis. All right, let's find that one. Is that this one? I think. Mm, no, it's not that one. That's for sure. Yeah, it is. Right, let's try the a little dab over here. Add in some water to get it the proper consistency of not a bunch of gloopy, globby, clippy, clippy stuff. You want it smooth, I guess. But not cake it on. Add a little bit more water in there. There we go. Ah, oh. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see how this
Come here, Mr. Light. How about you shine some light down on me? Shine the light down on me. See what I did with the other one was I put little dots in each of the little suckers there. So, hmm. All right, that doesn't look horrible. Let's look at like a gray. Do we have gray anywhere? We have gray. I have a dark gray. Dark gray looks cool. That's fine. That should be good. Hmm. Well. See if we can. What is going on with this brush here? It is like part of it's falling off. Uh, let's put that in. There, that should be fine. Probably don't need to add as much water because it will be more wet now because of the wet palette, so. But you don't want to glump it up. I know that now. I do know that now. <laughs> so. Let's see if we can paint these bottom rocks Well, coming along. So, yep, that's what we're going to be doing here for a little while. All right, there's one. I have to turn the light on. 
All right. Well, I just wanted to show you my new wet palette and show you what it is and talk about it. So it's easier if I can concentrate without live streaming. So I will see everyone later. Thanks for coming on by.